Before we begin our meditation, I would like you to find the High Priestess card in your tarot deck. Place her in front of you, and now gently gaze down at the card. Allow the images to just sink into your mind. Look at the colors, the figure, and the objects. Notice the symbols in the card. Do not analyze. If you notice thoughts coming into your mind, simply observe them. and then imagine them floating away like white, puffy clouds. Now, I'd like you to bring your attention back to the High Priestess card. Just taking it all in. Letting your subconscious mind absorb the rich imagery and the ancient, deeply profound symbolism contained within. Now, when you're ready, find a comfortable sitting position and gently close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in and hold it. Now, let it out, releasing any tension, any worries, letting go of anything you no longer need. Now, take another deep breath in and hold it. And relax now as you let it out. Feeling the gentle relaxation flowing down through your body now. It feels so good to relax and just let go. Now I want you to think about the top of your head and all those little muscles around your scalp. Just allow them to let go and relax. Now all the muscles of your face just let them go loose and limp feeling your forehead and your eyes your eyelids and the cheeks your mouth and your jaw just relaxing it's a wonderful feeling when you allow your face to totally relax you can actually feel the skin settling smoothing out, unclenching your teeth, relaxing your tongue, and the more you physically relax, the more you mentally relax. Thinking about your neck and shoulder muscles now, and the tops of your arms, letting all tensions drain away as you move down through your elbows, into your forearms, down through your wrists, imagining this relaxing energy flowing into your hands, relaxing and letting go, down into the very tips of your fingers, the tips of your thumbs, just letting all those muscles let go and relax. Now, I'd like you to focus on your breathing. Notice how it can begin to slow down. Becoming more steady even. As you relax more and more. 
letting any tension in the test chest area simply drain away. As you move down now into your belly, imagining all those muscles relaxing and letting go, down into your back, the long muscles on either side of the spine, just allowing that beautiful feeling of sweet relaxation to soothe and release any tensions and your waist, your thighs, down through your knees, through your shins and calves, just allowing all those areas to simply relax and let go. Sweet relaxation flowing down through your ankles, through your feet, and into the very tips of your toes. All the muscles of your body beautifully and so sweetly relaxed. I invite you to imagine yourself walking along a deserted road on a hot summer day. And beside the road is a high stone wall. And in that wall, a small door with a lovely ornate knob. See your hand reaching for the knob and turning it. Now you go through that door and discover inside a cool, luscious garden. Hear the birds merrily singing and the scent of beautiful flowers in the air. Feel the coolness and see the green shady trees as you explore this beautiful garden. Feeling more and more relaxed as you do. And now you come to a well with butterflies dancing like sparkles of light around the top. Look inside the well. It's very deep. A cylindrical hole boring down into utter darkness. Now, see a spiral staircase and a smooth handrail twisting around the walls of the well. And in your mind's eye, you place your hand gently on the rail and start descending, feeling more and more relaxed with each number that I count. 10, in the walls are gleaming polished tiles. Nine, made from yellow and white marble. Eight, emerald green and serpentine. Seven, the circle of light above. Six, getting smaller and smaller. Five, as you go deeper and deeper. Four, the comforting darkness surrounds you. Three, feeling so calm and relaxed now, feeling the texture of the walls changing, becoming damp and mossy. Two, almost to the bottom of the stairs now, just one more step to go, and one, so very deep into beautiful relaxation now.
all the way down to the deepest levels of your mind. The deep level of your mind that is connected to your psyche, your intuition, your spiritual self. And as you reach this last step, you can allow the stairs and the ordinary world to just fade away, disappear farther and farther as you go deeper and deeper into a blissful state of receptivity and heightened awareness. You see before you a tall wooden gate. The gate is locked, but you have the key. Unlock it, open the gate and go through it and see what is there waiting for you on the other side. Knowing that something truly magnificent is there waiting just for you. Now close the gate behind you and find yourself in a very comfortable and special place. In front of you now, see the scene depicted in the High Priestess Tarot card. Imagine now that the High Priestess card is growing larger and larger until her figure and the imagery around her becomes life-sized. Visualize yourself stepping right into the card. Take a good look around you. What do you see? Who is there with you? What objects are present? What colors stand out to you? And now, in your mind's eye, become the High Priestess, so known as Persephone, Isis, the Corn Maiden, Artemis. Feel her energy. Become that energy. Feel it as it moves through you. A rushing wave of deep realization. Realization of who you truly are. and what your purpose is. The purpose that brought you to this lifetime. The 
high priestess sits at the gate before the great mystery as indicated by the tree of life depicted in the rich beautiful tapestry hanging behind her she is the middle pillar of Gimel the path between the darkness and the light represented by the two pillars on either side of her. The pillars of Solomon's temple. The black pillar is the pillar of severity. Standing at the left with its white bee, Boaz. And the white pillar of mercy, standing at the right, with its black J, Hakin. Ancient words with ancient meanings. As the middle pillar, it is she who is the mediator of the passage into the depth of our own inner reality. The tapestry draped between the pillars, keeping out those who are merely curious casual onlookers, allowing only those initiated into the mysteries to enter this world. The world behind the veil, the world of the subconscious, which in turn is the doorway to the divine in all of us. Notice and experience now the pomegranates on that tapestry. Their arrangement as the Sephoras growing on the tree of life. Now, see the palm trees there, indicating fertility of the mind. The blue robe of the High Priestess symbolizes knowledge, embody now the feeling of being enveloped by the magic of this vibrant and powerful color blue. She wears the crown of Isis. You are wearing the crown of Isis. Symbolizing the triple goddess in all her glory. The solar cross upon her breast 
upon your breast is a symbol of balance between male and female, yin and yang, Shiva and Shakti. Experience the energy of the crescent moon under your left foot. Showing your power as high priestess, your power over pure intuition. And notice now the cube on which you sit. this ancient symbol for the earth. Now, enter into and become the half-revealed, half-concealed book that the priestess holds in her lap. The Torah. representing esoteric teachings and higher knowledge. Become that book. And now, stand back and become an observer. Watching the High Priestess take a slow, deep breath in and smell the air around you. Feel a light breeze brush your arm and the back of your neck as it rustles your hair. Look around you, what catches your eye? What do you feel? What thoughts come to mind? Give yourself permission now to truly experience the energy of this card. What is the High Priestess here to teach you? High Priestess is your intuition, the mystery behind the veil, your subconscious mind, which cannot be accessed through the everyday world, but only through dreams and symbols. calling upon you to pay attention to your dreams and pay attention to your intuition. She represents wisdom, serenity, knowledge and understanding. She is the guardian of the unconscious. And she sits in front of the thin veil of awareness, which is really the only thing that separates us from our inner selves, our true selves. The High Priestess holds the secret of how to access these realms. 
representing spiritual enlightenment, inner illumination, divine knowledge and wisdom. Harness this energy now and take a moment to reflect on the personal message that the High Priestess has for you today. And now, you are about to leave this powerful scene. And as you do, say to yourself, I have a deep, intuitive understanding of the universe and use this knowledge to teach others in just the right way, lifting the veil to their own inner wisdom. Your work here is now done. Thank the High Priestess and now step outside of the card. Watch now as the card becomes smaller and smaller, returning to its normal size. Know that you can return to this place of power and insight at any time just by closing your eyes and imagine yourself stepping back into the card. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And when I reach five, you can wake up and open your eyes, feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, awake and fully alert. One moving towards wakefulness. Two, becoming aware of your surroundings. Three, stretch yourself, wiggle your fingers and toes. Four, take a nice deep breath in and five, wake up and open your eyes.